Right. You know, yesterday I was in Walnut Hills. I was out on assignment when I thought I heard a familiar jingle. Uh -huh. well, I thought it was the ice cream man. You thought it was Mr. Softy. I did. And then I took a second look and it wasn't what I thought initially. Huh. Nathaniel Brooks. Yeah, this is brand new. Is not the ice cream man. There's no one around the world that I know that's doing it. His truck is a smoke shop on wheels. I'm selling hemp out of the truck, federally regulated and uh, state regulated. This is Low Blow Mobile, selling CBD and other smoke shop products. I wanted to be able to bring um, the products to the people instead of having the people come out, especially for the CBD, because that's a medical product that helps the people that has pain and things like that. Brooks has big plans with his business. It'll be part delivery truck and part food truck. I'm going to the food truck events, special events downtown on Fountain Square. I can set up just like them guys. Uh, you know, Oktoberfest, I'll pull down there and I can do the same thing. He'll even let you flag him down, just like the guy he took the jingle from. Concept of like the old school ice cream truck too. So um, I have the uh, the proper permits and everything. So if someone like wave, waves me down, I can pull over and service them and uh, keep going. And it's worked. Where's the ice cream man? Catching the attention of Sam Meese in a matter of minutes. It's the CBD man, I guess. Meese thinks there's certainly a market for this. I think it's really cool. I think there's a huge market for that right now. There's flower trucks, there's food trucks. So why not a CBD and munchie truck? Brooks says he's received all the permits he needs to start rolling down the road, open for business on Saturday. I'm like the first person to ever do this. So Tricia, he, basically that's an old FedEx truck that's yeah. converted over and he's ready to go on this. And he, he owns a brick and mortar store that he's, trans, he's not gonna have it for much longer, he said. And I want you to think about it from a business standpoint. No rent, no uh, things that he needed. So the truck is gonna save him money. I agree. And plus, I mean, just going around mobile, I, I would think that even the day would go faster yep. for him. Yep. Going into communities, I don't know, entrepreneurship, I love it. Yeah, and that's, that's basically how he's looking at it. Good guy? Yeah, he is. He was yeah, it guy. seemed like he was a trip, yep. really.